Good morning, Saturday, the day after um, I arrived back from Monaco yesterday and I apologise for my camera uh, conking out but I can assure you the airport was not exciting and if I had it my way, well, I didn't film it but I wouldn't have filmed it anyway. I had about a two hour delay and one shop was open so I just sat there listening to music surrounded by other people that were just as scared as me after the uh, last week or so of um, incidents evolving airplanes so <laughs> it was a nervous one um, but made it home safely and now I'm on my way to see hear and drive my car for the first time in about three weeks so we've got a good day of video shooting today I'm going to be reviewing the army tricks exhaust system I'm also going to review the first two to three months of owning the car and hopefully giving you an insight into the, the sort of running costs and also um, hopefully filming um, how I've managed to buy an Audi R8 at the uh, age of 23 so we're heading to SB now so I'm going to try and capture some uh, uh, of my reactions of seeing the car for the first time and um, the suspension has been raised so the car is going to look slightly different the uh, clutch master cylinder has also been replaced so fingers crossed I can get it into gear straight away the service has been carried out so hopefully the car is just running a lot smoother and a lot better so first stop is the petrol station and then I'm sure that we're gonna go tunnel hunting. So uh, this video blog is going to be a good insight into uh, what is happening on my weekend, the weekend of driving my R8. What a, sh what a rubbish ending to that bit of video. <laughs> Before we arrive at SB Race Engineering, I had a nice package waiting for me in the post as I uh, got back from Monaco. I've managed to make my iPhone Albeit very flash, which I wasn't expecting it to be gold chrome and red chrome. I just thought it was um, red and gold, but it's now the Iron Man colours, so I'm pretty uh, excited with that one. Yeah, and stay in the middle lane and then go straight over the roundabout. So now we're coming into um, SB Race Engineering. Quite nervous about seeing my car um, raised back on the stock suspension, but much more excited about driving it because it was... Uh, a much more nicer ride when it was stock rather than having the um, lowered suspension on as, as cool as it looked I just hope that uh, it doesn't not look cool anymore so I'm, I'm hoping it will look uh, just right so we're just gonna come in very soon I'm really excited about seeing my car where is it there it is get out on the raised suspension I still think it looks awesome now let's see how she runs start finished time to jump in get some videoing done and uh, find some tunnels I'm so ex I'm so excited about driving this car again a moment I've been waiting for three weeks to drive the car so uh, the time has come stop number one to the fuel. It's a uh, an amazing feeling to have other tricks back. 
It feels louder. Oh, look at all the smoke. First of many fuel stops this summer. Oh. So there we go. Ninety-eight pound fifty. Two hundred and twenty miles on the range. I'm not sure how long that will last. And I think we held up a fairly big queue behind us because it took forever. And uh, now it's to film the Army Tricks review. So uh, stop one has been done. I'm like a kid at Christmas, coming back to this car in fully working order. So um, thank you down at everyone at SB. I think I've got a few crate of beers to buy, which will arrive soon. So here we go. Ooh. Hopefully that's not a, a sign of things to come. So, camera off, film face on, and we're on to the Army Tricks review. It's so hot, what? 26 degrees, black leather. I'm not gonna complain today about the black leather and the heat. So let's go. into the uh, filming we have filmed the army tricks review and we've also filmed the um, Audi R8 ownership review so we've done two videos and um, I thought that I'd quickly check in on the video blogs as I am thoroughly enjoying being back in the driver's seat of the Audi R8 two things that I'll quickly say and I think that I have said in the videos as well so I apologize if I repeat myself um, the service these, the new spark plugs, the oil change, the uh, air filter change, and also the, um, I think it's the pollen filter change as well. Um, all of the combination there has really uh, made my car drive a lot smoother, which is brilliant, but um, it also has made the exhaust system sound a bit smoother. So when I'm driving in quiet mode, it is just a bit louder than stock. Whereas when I actually had the exhaust fitted, uh, it was dual service and the car was just like, I think the parts in the car were a bit old and um, it had all the crackles and the pops. So I think the uh, Army Tricks exhaust system has uh, sort of quietened down a bit, which isn't a bad thing because it's still very, very loud. And um, when I head to the meets um, in uh, August, of the car meets then I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of you guys hearing the car um, and uh, covering your ears because it is still stupidly loud but I just thought I'd mention it so we're um, just cruising now and um, loving the car when I get to this roundabout I'll open the valves I think the, no, the valves are already open I'll put the window down
also filling our bellies with none other than the finest McDonald's, as you can imagine. Um, having seen my car and getting back into it, it's an amazing feeling to get back behind the wheel as I uploaded a picture on Instagram of the uh, point of view that I did. There will definitely be a point of view video coming soon. I just need to weigh up the options of whether I get a headband or whether I do mouth cam. So um, if you have any suggestions, let me know. One thing that I absolutely love about the new car, like I said before, the exhaust system has slightly been changed. Maybe it's a bit quieter, but the old suspension or the stock suspension back on the car is amazing. There's no which uh, I got a lot when I was um, driving on the lowered suspension, although it looked good, like I've said, it looked amazing, but it just didn't ride at all like how a car should, and it was scraping a lot, so um, the stock suspension is back on, and it is absolutely amazing. So we're coming back to SB now, after having dry, driven around for maybe a good part of three hours, and um, yeah, it's amazing to have the car back so um, the car's back I'm back in the UK now and I'm going to be in London a lot filming a lot of supercars so um, stay tuned for a lot a lot a lot a lot the amount of times I've said a lot there is gonna be loads so uh, thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed the video blog of having my car back um, it's back on the road 240 miles, shush, 240 miles on the range, a full tank. Uh, there's going to be some really cool videos to come. So thank you for watching. My camera's about to die, which is um, shows how much filming we've done in the three hours. So I'll see you guys soon.